Insights into Taraka Oil Palm Seed Garden Palm oil is one of the prime edible oils used as cooking oil in India. Presently, edible oil consumption is around 250 lakh tons, of which 133.5 lakh tons of edible oil costing around Rs 80,000 crore has been imported annually. Out of all the imported edible oils, the share of palm oil is about 56%, costing around Rs 40,000 crore. The Indian Institute of Oil Palm Research assessed that out of the 28 lakh hectares of potential oil palm growing area in the country, only 3.69 lakh hectares are presently under oil palm cultivation, including northeast states. Of this, 1.8 lakh hectares are fruiting areas. To make the country Atmanirbhar in edible oils, the Government of India has launched the National Mission on Edible Oil Oil Palm NMEOOP oil palm mission. The mission targets 6.5 lakh hectares by 2025-26 and 16.71 lakh hectares by 2029-30. Due to fresh fruit bunch procurement price volatility, the oil palm area has not significantly increased in our country. The concept of viability price was introduced under the NMEO OP scheme to ensure assured returns to the farmers. As a result, farmers are now getting rupees 15,000 per tonne of FFBs. To harness oil palm area expansion in the country, the NMEO OP is increasing the establishment of seed gardens and nurseries of oil palm to ensure domestic availability of seedlings as per the target fixed and thereby improving the productivity of fresh fruit bunches FFBs. We are implementing National Mission on Edible Oil Oil Palm Scheme in the country. The major program in National Mission on Edible Oil is Area Expansion Program. So, to achieve area expansion in the state, planting material, availability, at right time and quality planting material playing an important role. Government of Karnataka, in technical support from IIOPR, we have established Taraka Seed Garden uh, during 1994 in an area of 10 hectare. And we have expanded that garden uh, to, another, to another 18 hectare as a second generation seed garden during 2012-13. So, at present, Taraka seed garden is producing nearly 2 lakhs crores per annum. And uh, from both these two gardens, we have a plan to produce nearly 5 lakh sprouts per annum. So, by achieving this, we can reduce the dependency on import of planting material as well as the production of oil palm in the state as well as in the country. Taraka Oil Palm Seed Garden Taraka Garden, located at 12 degrees 12 minutes 12 seconds north latitude and 76 degrees 15 minutes 44 seconds east longitude, receives 1033 millimeters of rainfall annually. Situated downstream of Taraka Dam, the garden has been carved out well amidst rich biodiversity of agriculture and horticulture crops. Located 85 kilometers from Mysore city, it provides planting material for 1,068 hectares, generating 4,539 tons of crude palm oil per year, thereby meeting 1.17% of per capita edible oil consumption in India. With the extension of a new garden, that is 18 hectares during 2012-13, Taraka Oil Palm Seed Garden has developed a capacity of producing 5 lakh sprouted seed material by 2025, which in turn produce 11,331 tons of crude palm oil per year. And thereby, Taraka alone will meet 2.93% of the total per capita consumption of edible oil in India. The oil palm development project under the Department of Horticulture plans to establish new gardens with 17 hectares at Taraka and Dharmapura horticulture farms to produce 12 lakh oil palm seeds annually by 2033. The targeted seeds will be enough to establish 6,400 hectares of new oil palm area 
which will produce 27,200 tons of crude oil per year. Thus, the Tharaka Oil Palm Seed Garden will meet 7% of India's total per capita consumption of edible oil by 2033. Since importing quality sprouts is expensive and less guaranteed, indigenous hybrid seed production and supply of quality planting material is envisaged as a significant step to achieving self-sufficiency in edible oil requirements. Taraka Oil Palm Seed Garden was established to meet the same under the technical guidance of ICAR, IIOPR, Pedavagi, Andhra Pradesh. Establishment of Taraka Oil Palm Seed Garden 1. Site Selection Taraka Garden's landscape is plain and not prone to flooding or waterlogging. Assured irrigation throughout the year and blessed with alluvial soil rich in organic matter. Deep ploughing and solarization were implemented at Taraka Garden at the time of planting. Drainage channels have been established to avoid water stagnation. At Taraka, garden rows are oriented in a north-south direction for efficient solar radiation utilization. An equilateral triangular system is maintained with 9 meters by 9 meters by 9 meters spacing to accommodate 143 palms per hectare. Dura mother farms as a female parent, three fourth the population, and T into T population for Piscifera male parent, one fourth population are planted. Agronomic practices like gap filling, basin management, irrigation, weed management, mulching, and plant protection measures are being implemented regularly. Recommended fertilizers in divided doses are provided at the oil palm seed garden. Selection of parental palms of seed gardens. Analyzing the yield contributing characters towards bunch and oil yield of the parent farms for obtaining hybrids of high yield potential. Observations like morphological characters, harvesting, pest and disease incidents, etc. are being recorded annually at Taraka Oil Palm Seed Garden to ensure the quality of the parental palms. Biometric data of Dura mother palms are being recorded monthly, quarterly and annually for three years and bunch analysis data for two years. Monthly data. For every 15 days, yield data is recorded, that is, number of fruit bunches per palm and weight of fruit bunches. Tri-monthly data. The number of leaves, spindles, male flowers, female flowers, and hermaphrodite flowers is being recorded. Annual data. Along with tri-monthly data parameters, leaf length, leaf width, petiole length, petiole width, petiole height, and number of leaflets, the height of the palm, and the girth of the palm are also being recorded at Taraka. After recording the three years of vegetative and reproductive growth characteristics of the palms, based on the recorded data, the palms are selected for the fruit bunch analysis to document the oil content of the chosen palm. Quality check measures to ensure quality seed material at Taraka. In the process of indigenous oil palm seed production, continuous quality checks with technical support by ICAR, IOPR, along with the supply of mother palms is provided. The sprouted seeds are tested with the molecular marker developed by IOPR for fruit type identification in seedling stage randomly. The fruit oil content is also recorded with the process of fruit bunch analysis for two continuous years. And finally, the high oil yielding palms are selected as mother palms for the production of hybrid planting material. Bunch Analysis From each selected mother palm, a minimum of three bunches are selected for bunch analysis with laboratory procedures beginning from identifying the fruit type till the oil estimation followed by proper laboratory procedures which need regular checks and measures with the exact numerical values of mesocarp, kernel and shell from the taken 250 grams of sample fruits. After the technical estimation of the mesocarp, parental palms are selected for the hybridization process. Hybrid Seed Production since oil palm is a cross-pollinated crop, hybrid seeds are produced through controlled pollination or hybridization at Taraka. Tenera hybrid seeds are produced by crossing selected Duras female and Pisciferas male palms. To ensure the qualitative viability of pollen, 
the male inflorescence is suitably bagged and collected with strict procedures. After removing old leaf bases, spines and fibers of the leaves around the inflorescence, female inflorescence will be bagged three days before anthesis and kept under watch. After flower opening, pollination will be initiated with pollen collected in a test tube carrying a cork fitted with two L-shaped glass tubing stoppered with cotton wool. Pollination is done after opening the glass tubes and inserting one of the tubes into the bag through the hole already provided on the bag window and flowing through the other tube. Pollination is generally carried out before 9.30 a.m. Pollinators' code and date will be pierced on young bunch stalks after four weeks of pollination. In the seed garden, bagging and controlled pollination will be done for a maximum of six female inflorescences per selected palm, finally producing, on average, 1,000 germinated seeds per bunch. Fruit set and ripening between 30 and 60% of female flowers develop into fruits and ripen within 5 to 6 months. The bunch will be harvested after covering it with a gunny bag to prevent any loss of loosened fruits and to prevent damage to fruits while dropping from the tree. Seed Processing and Germination The harvested fruit bunch is taken to the seed processing lab and will be depericarpated using a vertical drum type depericarper. After depericarping, Seeds will be treated with 0.2% bevistin for 20 minutes when the roots have turned around 20% moisture content, ensuring uniform drying. Since oil palm seeds do not germinate readily or uniformly under natural conditions, the dormancy of the seeds will be broken open through soaking and heating repeatedly. The softened hard seeds will be treated with shade drying, packed in poly bags, and later kept in the heating chamber at 39 plus 1 degree. For 60 days. The preheated seeds are soaked in water for 5 days, treated with fungicides, filled in poly bags, and kept at room temperature. Under standard conditions, germination starts after 1 week and will be established from 30 to 45 days. Healthy sprouts will be selected, packed, and supplied for raising the nursery. Only properly developed sprouts with 10 mm plumule and 15 mm radical will be a nursery to nursery from Taraka Lab. The first stage of culling is done during the collection and sorting of sprouts. Weak sprouts, sprouts with branched roots, brown germ sprouts, sprouts without plumule and damaged sprouts are culled and destroyed. Quality selected sprouts will be packed in the poly bags and sufficient small pieces of moistened PU foam sponge will be provided. Approx 20 polybags are arranged inside the carton. Corrugated fiber boxes are used to pack the sprouts. The provision for aeration is made. Enough water may be sprayed to avoid possible dehydration of the sprouts during transportation. The boxes for shipping the sprouts are sealed for security purposes. Department of Horticulture is extending the support to the oil farm. Under the National Oil Farm Edible Mission, we are providing the subsidy for the area expansion, drip irrigation system and harvesting stool. The oil farm is a perennial crop. Up to four years, we are providing for the intercrop subsidy and drip irrigation subsidy. I am requesting the all oil palm growers in the Mysore districts, please grow the oil palm, uh, very income generating crop, Please grow the oil palm and support the nation. Thank you.